Next game on the dock at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Louisville heads to Wake Forest. We're going to try and go a little bit quicker so we can get all these in. Uh, Wake Forest, a seven-point favorite at home. Total of 62 against the Cardinals. Never forget, Wakey Leaks. Wake Forest loves to beat up on Louisville because of what happened with them stealing game plans and, and all that kind of mess when Bobby Petrino was still at Louisville. And they still look at this as a personal game. It's a personal vendetta that they have against this program, even though it's all brand new people. Louisville, like, didn't look great against a terrible Florida State team. They still won. They still covered all that good stuff on the road. They got the win over UCF, but it was almost handed to them. And, and they were playing at home. I don't, you know, I, I don't think Louisville is is a great football team. And Wake Forest is playing about as well as anybody in the country right now. I will absolutely take Wake Forest in this spot, minus the seven. It's right on what my number was. Uh, but I, I think Wake Forest wins this at, by double digits. I mean, I, I really think that they are a fantastic football team. Dave Clawson and the Claw Fence, man, I, I'm rolling with uh, the Demon Deacons. Yep, that's, we're going the same way on this one too, man. I, I love this Wake Forest team. I think Louisville is much improved. Uh, I love Cunningham. I love watching him play. I, I have yet to see anybody stop Wake Forest's offense. And and I'm going to tell you this. This game might not look a whole lot different than that old Miss game that Louisville played. No, I don't think that Wake Forest is explosive. They might not score on two plays like Ole Miss was, but, but they will drive the football down the field, and there's not a damn thing Louisville can do about it. Now, Sam Hartman is, is an incredible quarterback. He is vastly he, undervalued. He's, he, yes, he's, he is so not talked about nearly enough in the national media. Hell, we don't even talk about him enough as much as we should have. And we, and we both love him. So, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. you're, you're so, not wrong. It, 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 just the level of – they're starting to get respect. They're starting to get some notoriety. But, but we're, we're still way behind the eight ball on this team. There's, there's a world where this is the best team in, in, in the ACC this year. It's they are they are certainly one of the most well coached. I will say that it's gonna it's gonna be fun to watch them compete against the the North Carolina States and the Boston College, the, the other remaining undefeated teams. And hell, some of those you know one loss teams, two loss teams in the in the conference. I I agree with you. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.